Oh, nah. yeah. Hi. That bit's over. Uh, so uh, we want to talk about Star Wars today um, because it's important yeah. to people's lives, right? So like, I think Star Wars is great, and it's from childhood, and we all we all enjoy the presence of Star Wars in general. Uh, but it's also very, very dumb. Specifically, the names of all the things that uh, go on in Star Wars. Some pretty dumb uh, names. Yeah. Pretty dumb names. Yeah. Obviously, like the obvious ones, like Darth Vader, Dark Father. Okay, very clever, George. But also, like, there's a documentary about the making of the Phantom Menace, and George Lucas is talking to his good friend Steven Spielberg, like showing him puppets and stuff. And he's talking about the Gungas. We know them as Gungans, which is also a dumb name. But like, clearly, he like after that conversation, maybe even Steven Spielberg was like, "Buddy, you can't call him that." Yeah. Everything in Star. Star Wars has a name, including that little like rat thing. His name is Salacious B. Crumb. Mm -hmm. That's dumb. Luke has a clone at some point in one of the many Star Wars related things that happens. And they're Zon like, well, what do we name him? Let's just name him Luke. He's got two U's in his name because he's a clone. He's not quite Luke. He's Luke. <laughs> There's the Death Sticks dealer. What's his, his name again? His name is Elan Sleesbagano. There it is. I keep, mm. I'm, I'll never remember that. That's right. too dumb to remember. But I remember Greedo, which is like very, very dumb. Right, and Porkins. And Porkins. Mm. Ooh. Can't forget oh, Porkins. Oh, the fat character. Yeah. yeah, good stuff. But Sleesbagano, I, I mean, think you're, that's you're, not you're even. <laughs> that's just lazy, you know? It's, it's lazy to go, it's like, uh, we need a character who's like me. Let's call him Mino Grump Art or right. something. Isn't there a Mino? I think you're thinking of the, the fictional Star Wars show that we made called Adventures in Jedi School. It had a character named Meaner's Badzo. Oh. <laughs> that might be what you're thinking that of. That might be what I'm thinking of. What's a Yoda called? Like. Oh yeah, what is the we Yoda? We don't know. Is Yoda's? Right, in the phys <laughs> under gender male. Species. Yoda's species. <laughs> <laughs> Yoda's species. The species to which Yoda belongs. <laughs> It's mysterious. They were small and green skin. They, they all looked like Yoda, I guess. There's the, uh, you might know them as the most likely Cantina Band, when in reality their name is Figrin, Deanne, and the Modal Nodes. Right, 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 yeah. 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 So now when you familiar. say reality. In the reality of, of, uh, of, uh, ooh. <laughs> wow. Oh no, I need to rethink my life. <laughs> this band, Figrin, Deanne, and the Modal Nodes, play a specific type of music, and it's called Jizz. Mm. Um, mm. Okay. That's funny because if you asked me, you know, the style of music that play in Star Wars, what would you call that? I would say, that's a dumb question. I don't need an answer to it. It's just the music they're playing in Star Wars. Yeah. But uh, the answer is jizz. This is just so uh, bizarre and funny that like this exists because any human being that is making this would go, oh, but George. I yeah. mean, yeah, like, you're calling it jizz, and like, you must know. This was actually introduced in the novelization of Return of the Jedi, and it wasn't even saying like, oh, this is jizz. It was referring to a musician as a jizz whaler. Yes. So, if you're a jizz whaler, That's you worse. play jizz. I kind of need, need to know, know like how that meeting went down, where it's like, it's like jazz, but it's Star Wars, we can't call it jazz because it's the future past and they wouldn't say jazz in the past future. Yeah. So like names, we, let's make it sound kind of jazz. Blaz. Blaz isn't jazzy enough. Prez. No, not quite. It's Jabs. Not, um, we're close. We're getting close. Jobs. Really close. Jobs. Jism. There we go. Yes. That's the one. That's the one. We're going to do that one. Okay. Well, uh, I, I was going to say come. One of the jizz instruments is called a jizz box. Yep. Mm. Oh, good. Mama's got a jizz box. <laughs> also <laughs> a peel <laughs> rod. So jizz is based off of jazz, obviously. Right. Oh. Um, there, yeah, there's the, yeah. uh-huh. Okay, mm -hmm. like, scop a boop Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so jazz, the origin of that word actually is unclear also. Many people think that it is based off of the word jizz. Mm. And they're like, oh yeah, it's right. like, Sweet, sweet jazz. Yeah. And that's where that word came so from. like rock and roll is sex, you know? Yeah. yeah. So sense. like, maybe the author of the novelization of Return of the Jedi is really, really clever. Right, because this is long ago in the future past before they made the move from jizz to jazz. And then in the future past, or the past future, right. you're going to name your music off of jazz. Right. Which we invented based off of yours. In the future, fu fu the future, future, past, future. Star Wars future. is 
dumb? Yeah, it is dumb. So like no. Han Solo crash landed on Earth in the 20s and taught them jazz and then also taught Marty McFly rock and roll mm -hmm. so that he could go to 1955 to teach rock and roll to Chuck Berry. But then he lost his memory. And that's yeah. how we got regarding Henry. Hello, thank you for watching that video. Click the C to subscribe to our videos and the bell to get notifications. We have been the respectable show about decent things.